Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Digital Architecture. Today we are back again with the Grasshopper Archicad Live Connection. I will take a look at how we can add automatically windows to our walls in Archicad based on two methods, either the windows count, which will be based on the number of points that we add to the Archicad uh, from Grasshopper window point or based on the distance and count of these windows. We can change the distance and then based on it will be add automatically number of windows that we need. So the two method will be working uh, parametrically and we can add it to our project much easily and we will solve many problems that we can face making this automatic process in Grasshopper Archicad. So stay tuned and hope you like this video. So I have my connection ready between Grasshopper and Archicad and now we can start drawing our windows. So to start, we'll draw it directly from Rhino. It will be easier to decide, set a curve, crossover, set one curve, and then we can directly draw a wall, which we need for drawing windows or door, as we know in Archicad. Now we got our wall. Now we can start drawing our windows. We will notice that we have always two ways to insert a point, a window, or a door, either by distance or window. We we'll look to them both. We start by adding window uh, from point. First we need the wall, which will be drawn on at the wall. Then we need the insertion point, which will be a reference line. Now if we think about it, in Archicad, we always decide where our window will be based on a point. How we can make this point? And here in Grasshopper easily, we can start by using the point on curve component. We can take it, get our reference line, we get this point here, and now this is our insertion point. But this is not enough. We need second point to decide on the orientation. If we think about it in Grasshopper, or sorry, in Archicad, you know, like every window or door drawing, we start by one point, and we need to add second point to decide which way this window will open. Then we have our window ready. We need to do exactly the same in Grasshopper, Archicad Live Connection. So we get this insertion point, and to decide where, where the other point will be, we can say we can like get one point here and make it a decision of our opening window. But what will happen if the door change or it's like much more complex and parametrically moving from just a basic wall? That way, we need to think in crossover way to to make those points. We can start by moving the point of insertion. We can move it. Now it's moving on Z, we can move it on X or Y, now we need to move it in Y direction. You see, we move it in Y direction, now it's directly in this way. If we decide to be the orientation point, it will not work, because it's directly on the reference line, one can, one can not see if it's right or left. We need to move it a little bit either right or left, so we add X, we add X and we add it to the Y, now we get movement to the corner direction and our window come to live in this way. If you want to other direction we can like make a minus x or or we can like minus y to change the other direction. But this is still not that uh, useful if we have our hole this way. Okay it still it will still still be moving uh, the other corner, but what if we get this way of corners, it's still always not that accurate because we are moving, see the direction between X and Y, it always be changing. So if this point come directly on the reference line, our window will start making some errors and may not work directly. So to avoid this, now this is some, if we go to the top plan, maybe this way, on some point it will not work because it will be directly on our uh, point of drawing the reference line, which may be hard to get, but now here it is. See now our point directly moving through and Archicad cannot lie the vertical plane that contains the wall reference line. The orientation point cannot lie directly to it, which is like an error 
which we need to avoid parametrically if you have like walls and everywhere it's like much bigger than just a simple wall so how we do this we need to make the movement or maybe I still need those we need to make the movement based on the wall that we have so we go to RCCAD and we deconstruct this wall if we do we get the reference curve the B rib and the setting but I just need the surface outside of this wall I can get this B rib deconstruct it and select one surface but much better I can right click select wall surface type which is much uh, useful in this component that now we can get out of this period some walls that we need at the surface like see here we can get the reference opposite side of surface or the reference side surface which was I need uh, to decide the orientation of this wall we can see we have much more uh, options to select from but now I just need the reference side surface now if we get it we have extra output that will be a surface selected we see yes this is the extra surface from this p -rib. and now I can get the orientation of it by checking as planner component it's much useful component to get directly the plane from a surface now I have the orientation I can deconstruct plan now I have the X Y and Z based on this surface so from here I can maybe add move it in the Z direction which is like perpendicular to the wall and the X direction so Z and X now I got my point moving in the right direction to make this opening now here I have fully parametric uh, wall that the window can open in every way it doesn't matter which side you move it to because we have this wall or the, the point of this uh, orientation always changing to the surface so now we can see uh, if we want to add multiple points but before we see now we have a red warning on the RCCAD component on, or sorry the grasshopper from the RCCAD surface that's coming now we get the error because we are not getting any surface anymore it's already uh, the, th the way things work here in the RCCAD component after we open this window the wall will be sometimes updated to the current situation after the window and will be always saved in this way because taking, taking this from the reference ID of this wall and now here we are not getting a surface we are getting this kind of open p rip which uh, is based on multiple surface that's why when this thing happen it will happen especially if we have a wall with already a window we can make a deconstruct p rip and we take one of the first faces and if first list item we take OF just any phase just one and plug it here now because it's a phase now we have the difference between the two walls if we just update a little bit run that component again now it should be working now we can hide this and it's like working perfectly again that's we see here like the window I think in RCCAD if I disable this component the window will not be working but I'm still having my hole in the window even if I change now it's like not updating here in RCCAD we need some time to recent those changes and check how things working or not so I sometimes uh, make one go crazy but what can we do we can also if you make this false it will not be updating and my wall will still have a hole in it so sometimes we need if this happen to just run it again or unplug the curve we want to, to remove this wall or this uh, window just unplug one of those components and we'll be back that's why better way to remove a window if it's like already made in the or run grasshopper connection but uh, hope in the next uh, version will be this uh, things fixed or maybe we have a better solution to do it so next we will take how we can multiply this window in, mul in many ways like we have based on one point we can make multiple points by dividing 
this curve in multiple points. Like we take this curve and we have now multiple points. We can make slider for how many windows we need. We got this point, just move this insertion point to here. Now we have multiple windows, but of course we need to move the first and last point. So we can make cal index. Everyone uh, know if you are base, uh, familiar with the Archicad or the Grasshopper, we should know this. We can call the index 0 and index minus 1, which will be the last one. Now we removed 0 and minus 1 is the last one based on the numbers. We make this control shift here, plug it again. Now we have everything parametrically moving. And it's like always updating quickly. It doesn't matter which way we have this wall. Then I think uh, the best thing about this it's like much uh, faster than Dynamo in Revit. It's like uh, one of the biggest uh, advantages here. So we can do exactly the same things by using the distance with distance. If you like remove those windows, just false. Just unplug one. I make it like false. Now it's not working. We can take the look take a look at the second component adding windows by distance and we need of course so the wall and the curve here then we need the distances horizontal distance based on this wall uh, on this uh, side or this line reference line sorry so we make slider 2 but still not enough we sorry we still need uh, the orientation point like I find in this component especially the distance one it will be like much better if I have to choose one of four uh, sides because it's still not useful to still insert a point after I have a distance. I hope so this one get more attention to be maybe we have better options here but doesn't matter we have our uh, moving points that we already did here in this component above. We can make divide curve by length it will be curve division divide by length or maybe distance doesn't matter we have a, a line not a curve we take this curve and we have the distance here too now we have multiple points but if we take the list item from here we will need only the number one not the first one so we need the first point here we can hide everything here so we have this distance exactly here for this point and now this is the orientation which we need to move not to forget so we plug it here by move we have the same orientation like this is the solution to 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 make the orientation a little bit automatically maybe we can limit it in a small script that will do it for us always but anyway now we have the moving point moved as a orientation I will plug it to the O and now our window will work based on a distance and you see it right here which is nice did I bake anything? I think I baked this wall which like was not intended to do okay so now it's based on distance and we can actually change the based on distance component to work like the window point and we can do this uh, if we use the, some tricks from Grasshopper. We can make this distance as a divide length. We can duplicate it, duplicate data, and we this data sorry the distance data. So of course the four points, and then we have like every four meters number of duplication. We need to have. Also a slider how many duplication we need and then we have like multiple distances 4 and 4 but here we need like 4 then we need 8 it makes smaller make like 3 6 maybe 9 now so this way we need uh, mass addition mass addition now we don't use the complete result of the mass addition we use the partial results we have then 3 then 6 which is exactly what we need and we plug this to the distances like this now we have two distance but we see the orientation point is one 
Now if the window is opening in this way, and the rotation based on the point here, we can make multiple points by the uh, choosing the list index or we can actually take this divide length. We have two points here, so we can make duplicate or make we, we make a series from zero step by one and the number of two. Now we have zero and one. This is the, our index item. Now it is fully parametric based on the distance that we choose. And then we choose how many windows we want to repeat this distance. We can make like one meter. It's not working again. Reference line, okay. I think the vision one orientation. Now we take we have one point directly in the reference line and we have the movement point like this. Make a little bit change here. Okay, uh, I think I know what's the problem here. We have the index 0 and 1. We need actually to start by 1. This is the right way. Yeah, we need oh, 0 is always out. We start by 1, then 2. Now we have it. We, have, we can change the distance from the start of the line. And then we repeat how many windows we need. 3, 4, just like this windows, and more. Now we decide directly distance between windows and it will be always parametrically changing and everything is like super fast super smooth here in the crossover architect live connection uh, the line didn't update I think I took a copy it's not like that because I, I baked everything like now is it the reference line or this one no that one <laughs> so this is not the reference line okay we set it again set on the first line okay that's it now it's moving almost in 3D just like not the wall anymore so yes it's working all the windows I can ch change the number of windows the distances between them like super cool and smooth working in every way of course if the wall too short the windows will start flying around can okay, like change the number here or we can choose the divide curve way of doing it by divide distance we can also like make the division based on the length of this curve so we don't get this extra line but I think it will be then much simpler or like by deciding the number of windows directly from here so that's how we can add windows and doors actually we can change the windows and to door and it will be work exactly the same this is a one interesting way of adding windows I hope you like this uh, lesson and uh, video today stay tuned with us we will have much more depth and much more complex ways of using grasshopper and archicad in this way it will be much much more useful of automatic automatically doing some tasks thank you for watching stay tuned to catch future videos hope you like it today we'll see you soon